Yo guys, what is going on? It's your boy Farfetch here, back with a brand new YouTube video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can actually use custom resolutions within Fortnite Chapter 2, Season 2. The new season is actually within less than 7 days, and it is currently the end of the first season to Chapter 2 of Fortnite. So I thought this is like a perfect time for me to make the video. You know, it's the end of a season and also the start of a new season. And maybe next season, in 7 days, Fortnite may add the ability to use the old stretch resolution, which looks just like this, as you guys can see on screen. Maybe they actually do that, and then this video will be more in handy for you guys so i do just kind of want to get it out now just in case that does happen you know if you guys do go ahead to enjoy the video you know how to do all of the good stuff you guys can just drop a like helps out way more than you guys probably think and really just support the channel so the least you can do for me bringing this content out to you guys but also remember you can subscribe post notifications on if you have not already therefore you never miss an upload just like this on my channel again i'm on my daily upload grind so you can expect a lot of content from me and with that all being said let's just get straight into the video Before we actually get into things, I do just want to know that if you are a lower subscriber to my channel and do wish to support me, I actually have just created a TikTok account. I know it sounds kind of crazy and it may be a little bit cringy for some. I know a lot of you guys won't like TikTok. I know at least 50% of you guys watching this video do have the app downloaded on your phone and probably do have your phone right next to you as I am speaking. So I have made a TikTok account. You guys can see it on the screen right now. The least I ask for you guys is just to go and head over to my TikTok and maybe just view a few of my videos, drop a like. I know if you do want to see my TikTok content, you can just drop a follow. You can do it right now as I speak. It's so simple just to go on the app and search on my username and it would support me if you guys could check them out. I thought I'll just plug that. So I am going to be showing you guys how you can add custom resolutions into your game. I'm sure at least 70% of people watching this video are adding custom resolutions but are not doing it in the correct way. Because yes guys, it is a little bit more complicated than you may think. There's a few things you can do to actually better your experience using custom resolutions. I will also be giving you guys my opinion on what I currently think is the best resolution you can use in the game right now for the start of the new season. And what actually makes this video stand out from the rest, I do have a method. This method will allow you to stack your resolutions on top of each other. Therefore, they are fully interchangeable in game and you do not have to exit your game to change your resolution. Usually if you are using a stretch resolution, for example, 1444 by 1080, or maybe 1650 by 1080, which you may be using in this state of Fortnite without the OG resolutions, you will know that if you want to change your resolution, you can't just change them in game. It's not how it works. But I actually have a method in which you can do that, and that's what I'm showing you guys in this video. But enough talking has been done. I'm going to show you guys how to add custom resolutions right now. So to actually do this, you guys will need to navigate over to your desktop. As you guys can see, I'm on my desktop right now. What you guys want to do is press the Windows key and R shortcut. This is basically a shortcut to open up your run tab. Or you can simply just click onto your taskbar and type run and then just click onto this here. Here you will want to type in percent local app data percent like so. And then you'll be put into the local folder within app data. And here you'll have to look for Fortnite game. Click onto Fortnite game. Navigate to game user settings. Click onto properties and ensure that the notepad is actually not on read only. So if the box where it says read only is ticked just untick that therefore you can make modifications and edit the document and if it wasn't ticked that's fine just proceed to open it like so so once you guys have got it all open you want to scroll down until you find resolution size x and resolution size y and i have my resolution currently set to 1904 by 1071 and now this is where i want to get into the good stuff and explain what i personally think is the best resolution to currently use for fortnite if you guys are in fact looking to use something that is more of a stretch resolution has kind of the og feel to it and actually does enhance your fps that slight little bit probably around 10 to 20 more frames and of course it's considered stretch resolution you know it has the horizontal stretch and will help improve your aim just a little bit with only a small loss of fov you guys will want to use a resolution 1650 by 1080 this is a perfect balance between keeping a good fov and actually having that horizontal stretch which will obviously improve your fps due to the decrease in pixels and also slightly improve your aim if stretch res is something you like this is the best stretch resolution to use and for any pros that currently use stretch resolution this is exactly what they use so i can highly recommend this res and if you guys want to use exactly what i use what tfue uses and many other pros are starting to use i would use 1904 by 1071 if you are a lower subscriber to my channel you will know i've talked about and vouched this resolution so much it's literally just a native resolution yet it has a slight decrease in pixels which is so hard to notice but has a huge benefit this actually increases your fps quite a bit probably anywhere from 10 to 30 
30 plus FPS. And this resolution, for some odd reason, tends to reduce input lag and make your game feel a lot more responsive. I'm not sure why, but it's just something that it does. My game feels so much more smoother than using this opposed to 1920 by 1080. If you want to stay with a native resolution, but want an alternative for that, which is going to better your FPS, make your game feel a lot better and basically give you a competitive advantage in some way. 1904 by 1071 is the resolution for you guys. I can't vouch this enough. Now I went through that, it's kind of just as simple as changing it. So resolution size X, you'll want to change. So obviously mine is 1904. And resolution size Y, you also want to change. So obviously mine here is 1071. And then also below that, you will see last user confirmed resolution size X. And then last user confirmed resolution size Y. You just need to copy exactly what you just put. So obviously mine is 1904 by 1071. So just so it correlates properly. And now you guys have done that, you want to press file, save. And then you can exit out the notepad. And now right click on your game user settings, go to properties and ensure that read only is now ticked by ticking this box it ensures that the game is not forced to change any of these settings this is something that you just need to do therefore you get the best experience using a custom resolution so make sure that is done so now what you guys want to do after that to finalize the resolution change, you actually want to go into your graphics card control panel. So for me, I have an NVIDIA control panel. So all I have to do is right click my desktop and you should see the NVIDIA control panel. I'm sure a lot of you people watching the video will have NVIDIA. But you may have AMD where if you do right click your desktop, it should say AMD Radeon settings. And if that is the case, it's very similar. Just copy what I'm doing on the NVIDIA control panel. Just make it correspond to the AMD control panel. It's kind of self-explanatory. But right here, I'm in the NVIDIA control panel. I want to go down to display and change resolution. And once you guys are here, you want to press customize, press create custom resolution, and then you want to change your horizontal pixels and your vertical lines. So obviously as I'm using 1904 by 1071, I'm going to change my horizontal pixels to 1904 and change my vertical lines to 1071. And then I'm also going to change my refresh rate here to the highest possible refresh rate. And that doesn't mean try and override your refresh rate and make it higher than you should have it. So I use a 144 hertz monitor. So I need to put this at 144 hertz. If you do have a 60 hertz monitor, you put it at 60 hertz and kind of vice versa. If you do try and make that's higher than your actual monitor's response time you will experience your monitor blacking out and something called screen tearing which is something you do not want so don't try and make this any higher than you should do but once you guys have done that just press test and then you press apply and click ok and then your monitor will change to a different resolution whatever you would have set in your game user settings that's fine don't worry about it just now one thing you also need to do in your nvidia control panel that people usually forget about which may cause you to get black bars or for your games to get slight input lag is it then actually adjust the desktop size and position so i'm doing that right now as you guys can see you're going to go to where it says scaling and ensure that your scaling mode is on full screen having this on aspect ratio can cause you to get black bars when changing your resolution so make sure it is set on full screen and ensure override the scaling mode set by games and programs is not ticked now once that is all done that's all you need to do in the control panel and all you need to do for your resolution now when you open your game it is going to be in stretch resolution don't worry you don't need to keep your desktop always on this stretch resolution or whatever desired resolution you had chosen once you've run the game once with your actual monitor or desktop in the same resolution resolution it's then stored on the cloud of the game therefore it's saved so you can then go back and actually change your desktop resolution back to native therefore it looks nice when you're just browsing things such as google or using anything but fortnite and it should all save and now if you guys do want to add multiple resolutions you just simply just do different resolutions exactly just how i did it and they should just stack on top of each other where you can interchange them within the game it's literally that simple and that is all for this video not much more i need to talk about i'm showing you guys exactly how to add custom resolutions this is an updated method and this is literally the only way and best way to do it and i don't really ever need to make another video about how to do this now because nothing's really going to change with this this method is going to stick if you guys did get to the end i'm surely doing my job right so the least you guys can do you know drop a like it really does support me it does mean the world let's try and hit 250 likes on this video i never really set like goals remember you can subscribe with post notifications on therefore you never miss an upload just like this and stay up to date but with that all being said it's been your boy farfetch and yeah peace